I don't know if, if you've been um, uh, following me on Twitter or if you've been uh, checking out my website, but I've been doing a bunch of um, like health blogs and, and um, recipe type things and just talks about um, just eating well, um, healthy lifestyle, um, that kind of stuff. Um, I've had a couple of people write into me and ask me like, what's good for breakfast? Like, what do I eat for breakfast? Do I eat breakfast? Um, I'm a big breakfast eater. In fact, I usually have two breakfasts. I'll, have, I'll start out with like a, a fiber cereal in the morning. I'll go to the gym and work out. And, and then I usually come home and I'll have my second, my second breakfast, which is usually what I'm going to make right now, which is a high protein um, egg white scramble with chicken sausage and onions and a little bit of... Um, light Mexican blend cheese that I get from Trader Joe, which is like my favorite, um, and a bunch of avocado. And believe it or not, it's, it's, I mean, it's so high in protein, it's high in fat because I use a lot of avocado, but it's really good fat. So it fills you up, um, it's really good for your body, and it like, it just, it, this breakfast will keep me going for probably like, you know, four or five, five hours. I'm good till lunch for sure. Um, and it's really kind of the only thing that I can eat in the morning that where I, where I won't snack. So if you're worried about like snacking or if you feel like you're always hungry during the day, some people, um, I think have this, um, you know, uh, I think they have this, they think that if they have breakfast that they're going to be hungry all day because it kind of gets things, their digestion started. Um, and, and then they just want to keep eating. But I actually think this just works the opposite. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start showing you how easy it is. It, it's done so quickly. It's super healthy and um, gives you tons of energy and you're not gonna snack. So I love you too. I love you too. Okay, so uh, what I've got here, I start with a little bit of sunflower oil. And I just sort of put a little bit in the pan just to kind of coat the pan. Just a little. Just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Just like a tiny little bit. And I have here Trader Joe jalapeno chicken sausages. I don't know if if you guys can get that where you live. But if you can, and you like a little bit of heat to your sausage, like I do. Um, Get some Trader Joe's chicken sausage with the jalapeno and cut it up into little bits. Let it saute just a, a little bit in the pan. Um, get some good color on it. I like it to be kind of crispy almost. I do like spicy food. I do. Um, you get a little bit of color on the sausage and then when that starts to brown, I'll add a little bit of onion. I do that onion. And then I'll kind of mix that all together and what I have here are two egg whites separated and one whole egg so the so three egg whites and one egg yolk one whole egg plus two egg whites and I get rid of the other two yolks. You know, some people might save them for other uses but for me I, I just get rid of them so I keep one yolk I'll scramble that up super easy um, I don't know, you guys like Gordon Ramsay? I'm a big fan of Gordon Ramsay. And I saw the way he makes his scrambled eggs. And there's nothing like how I make my scrambled eggs. Makes them in a saucepan, and I've, I've actually never done that, although I'd like to try. But since I'm trying to keep this on the healthy side and, um, and, and keep the cream and the butter out of it, I'm going to make it like this. And it might not be as pretty as Gordon Ramsay's, but it's going to be really good. I'll add my onion. Now normally, when I cook, um, I think when, when most good cooks cook, just you, you layer your seasoning, you, you put in some salt and pepper basically with every, every time you add ingredients to a pot. Normally I would add a little bit of salt and pepper to my egg, but since there's a bunch of seasoning and salt already in the, uh, in the sausage, I don't need to add more. The sausage is actually acting as my seasoning, so I'll just um, 
pull back on the salt. Because sodium is also it's another killer. A lot of people don't realize how much sodium that they take in on a daily basis. People are like, oh no, I don't really add much salt at all. But if you're eating processed food, if you're eating fast food, uh, chances are your sodium intake is a lot higher than um, than you think. Will Greg be mad? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this is kind of like a last minute impromptu uh, breakfast. I wasn't really planning on doing this. And I usually, like I said, I usually do this kind of breakfast after the gym, but I was so hungry this morning that I, uh, I'm having it before. All right. So, you can see there's a little bit of color uh, on my onions and my sausage. So now the time where I turn down the heat. So you don't want your eggs to burn. Add the eggs. If you weren't using a spicy seasoned sausage, I would say add a little bit of salt and pepper here. And then just kind of as it starts to harden those eggs, just kind of mush it around. You can see that? Can you see that? So I don't have a camera, a camera department here working my camera, so I can't really move the phone. So that's that. And then like once they start to get all nice and glistening, I add just a little sprinkling of cheese, like little, little bit, little bit, just for a little bit of flavor. Toss that in, mix it up. Again, you don't want to burn your eggs, you don't want to make them too hard, certainly don't want them running. I don't like them running. And, uh, and that's it. That's kind of, that's my breakfast. This is what, I will probably eat this about, I don't know guys, like four or five times a week. And then my favorite, Cholula. I like douse that all over the eggs, and uh, and that's it. There you go. That's kind of like that's what I eat every day, almost. So I think you should try it. It's really simple. You saw it's just like a little bit of onion, one sausage, tiny little bit of of, of uh, oil. Throw it all together, mix it up. It doesn't have to be that pretty. Although I think it looks pretty. I'll show it to you again. I think it looks pretty. It's nice. It's nice and it's really good. It's good. It's good for you. Nutritious, healthy, delicious. Oh, I should do a little tasting because they always taste it like on those, on those food channels. So there's my. There's, and by the way, like some people will be like, well, where's your starch? How come you don't have any potatoes? Or how come you don't have. Um, I'll try to scope more. I will. Um, like, where's the starch? Where's the. Um, bread, the bagel, the English muffin, the pastry, whatever. But since I had my cereal just a couple of hours ago, kind of feel like I've already had my, my carb. So I'm just going to do the protein and the fat. And I just take a little bit of avocado with the egg and it's delicious. It really is. I have a really good appetite. I'm always hungry, except right after I eat this for about five hours. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to try to do more. Thank you so much for coming and joining me, and uh, I'm going to go eat my breakfast now.